Hello everybody, welcome back to more Final Fantasy VIII Remastered. Last time we played, we made it onto the Timbers mobile base and pulled off a successful heist of the President, who we are now pulling their uh, train along with us. So, I originally had planned to do some long elaborate thing to get spells, but I'm kind of not up for that because this boss is a real pain in the ass. So instead, I'm going to do what everyone does when they fight this boss and cheese the shit out of them because I just don't care enough. But before you do that, you're going to want to make sure you come up here and grab this because you can't grab this otherwise. You leave the ship or leave the train. Pet Pals, Volume 2. And this is important. I think you can probably get this elsewhere. But it teaches you Angelo Recover. Huh, nice. So that was kind of worth it. So let's head down here and take care of this president shenanigans, shall we? Maybe finally liberate Timber after all? After all, that was our mission. Ready? Yeah, of course. Let's get this done. I'm ready. I'm set, baby. President Delling. As long as you don't um, resist, you won't get hurt. And if I do resist, what would you do? Young lady. Ah. What's wrong? Boo hoo. Too bad. I'm not the president. I'm what they call a body double. All those rumors about the many resistance groups in Timber. You pass along a little false information and they fall for it. How pathetic. Seems like there are only amateurs around here. Emma, Jers? Ah, my butt hurts from all this sitting, young lady. Ah, uh, so what did you have in store for me if I had resisted? Why don't you tell me? Quite amusing, though, for being such amateurs. How dare you insult the president? Oh, shit. Alright, so this is the body double. So, in this form, he's really not that much to deal with. And unfortunately, the main reason I don't really want to fight his later form fairly is because it's kind of a pain in the ass to do. I don't have the patience for that shit. Oh wow, he actually made it two turns. I think he'd make it two rounds. It's impressive. Well, we win. Yep, you heard me, we win. That's over, the, fight, the fight's over, I win. I've already entered in the command that will end your life, sir. It is over. So, fun fact, the Blue Guts was actually a, a change they made from Japan to America in the original game. Uh, in Japan, it was actually far more explicit. He did not have Blue Guts! And he was also not dead. So, yeah, that's cool. He has double Zomb- he has double Berserk, Asuna... I want to say zombie. So he has some decent spells on him if you're interested. I already have double. And I can get Asuna later. Most spells I can get myself anyway. I don't need to get them. So that's kind of cool. Zombie powder. 20 AP. Awesome. And we learned HP up. Excellent. And strength plus 40. Nice. That'll go over well. Man, I can't believe the president was a fake. I can't believe we fell for it. New info. Sir, new info. It's big news. I found out the real reason why the president's here, sir. The president's going to the TV station. Security's super tight, sir. The TV station? Why in Timber? They can broadcast just as easily from Galbadia. Do you think toilet communication do you think the toilet communication tower has anything to do with this? Hmm. What's that? Dolet Dole has a communication tower that can transmit and receive radio waves. 
It has been abandoned for a long time, but the Galbadian army got it up and running yesterday. Oh, I get it. The only TV, the only TV station that can handle broadcast over the air is in timber. Other stations use HD cable, which only supports online broadcasting. So, what's that supposed to mean? They're planning on using radio waves. This way, they can transmit images to regions without cable. I know that! What I want to know is, what is the president going to broadcast? Why use radio waves? There must be something they want to say to the whole world. What can it be? Everybody, love and peace. Ugh. If I remember correctly, radio waves haven't been used in 17 years. It's been that long? Wouldn't it be wonderful if the first broadcast could be the Declaration of, Indep of Timber's Independence? Hey, that might be possible. Let's come up with a plan then. Can you guys give us a minute? Cool. Uh, yeah, I'm not really digging these guys right now. Can we, can't we go home now? What about our contract? Shouldn't we check it, Squall? They call that a strategy meeting? There's a clipping from a magazine. Yeah, let's read it. Anarchist Monthly, first issue. Galbadia's Dictator, President Vinzer Delling Special. How does he stay in power? We reveal his darkest secrets. Oh, okay. Ah, Set Anarchist Monthly, second issue. President Dilling became the president after the Second Sorcerer's War ended. To gain support quickly, he carried out the, inv the invasion of Timber. It was only a ploy to, de to decorate an already corrupt man's moral career. Our land, Timber, was brutally destroyed. Here began Vinzer's Delling. Vinzer... Delling's road to dictatorship. Damn. They got their own little propaganda machine going, don't they? That's impressive. Oh, shit. They got... Fuck. They have three issues? Holy shit. To, imper to imprison anti-government sympathizers, the D-Prison... The D-District Prison was built in the desert south of Dilling City. Millions were sent... Millions spent to build the facility. The threat of being sent to the prison intensified Dilling's unpopularity. The prison began imprisoning Galbanian anti-government sympathizers, just as they did in Timber. Moreover, the leaders of the resistance movements faced the threat of having family members imprisoned in as well. Around this time, Dilling began surrounding himself only with loyalists, which turned him into an even more fierce dictator. Alright, I've had enough of reading the, uh, the hype machine. Honestly, you guys are kind of crazy. Hey, so about our contract. Oh, good timing. We've come up with a plan. Uh, before before we get into that, um, can I see your contract with our garden? Oh, sure. What's it say? Malam Garden, hereby referred to as Party A, acknowledges the Forest Owls, hereby referred to as Party B, as the hiring party. Seed, hereafter referred to as Party C, shall be dispatched upon signing of the sudden signing of this contract. Party C shall operate under the supervision. What the hell? I don't get it. Oh yeah, that one's kind of confusing. When I told him I didn't understand, he gave me a different one. Sid is such a nice man. What's it say this time? To the Forest Owls, this seed deployment contract will last until Timber achieves independence. 
Please make good use of each of each seed member. I wish you the best and with your objective. Please understand that this contract is an exception and no rep and replace and no replacement of any seed members can be made. But let him guard headmaster Sid Kramer. Until Timber's independence? That's so vague. Wow, they sold our asses up the creek without a damn paddle, didn't they? Hey, you're paid professionals, no complaining. Okay, let's decide on parties. Gathering information is my specialty, sir. Ouch! My stomach. <sighs> God damn it. So, of the four of us, the ones who'll be heading to the TV station will be... Uh... Zell. Nothing against you, Selfie, but Zell. I'll bring you along next time. Alright. What do you have to say, Selfie? Da-da-da-da! Okay, well that didn't help me much, Selfie. Thank you for being the ray of sunshine that you have successfully managed to be. Appreciate you. The TV station, sir. It's quite close if you take the local train. But the local train and, con tra and transcontinental trains have stopped running, sir. Nothing to worry about, sir. There must be someone in town who knows. Are you ready yet, sir? Yeah. Best of luck, sir. I'll, ke I'll be keeping watch here. A guy dressed up as a cadet, gathering information? He was asking about the president's stay. I found it strange that a cadet would keep asking about the president. He was very, he was very polite and kept addressing me as sir. I think I know who you're talking about. He was taking care of three suspicious looking characters from Balaam. I'll go question every teenager in the area. No! We can't just go up to anybody and... Ahem. These are citizens. We can't inflict any. How dare they try to kidnap the president? Not only is it disrespectful to the president, it is also, it's, but also to us Galbadian soldiers as well. I'll be sure to find them and throw their sad behinds in jail. Please, hear me out to the very end. Hey, uh, buddy? Yeah, your friends are gone. Hate to break it to you. Say, I remember now, sir. I think the TV station is located behind a building called Timber Maniacs. Please head in that direction, sir. I hope you find it. Well, what? Come on, the Galbadian soldiers are coming. Lots of guards patrolling the city now. Please be careful, sir. Seems like the hotel's not available either. Should you need to recover, use the owl's tears, sir. Heard they heard it works wonders. I believe you can find it at the old man's house. I guess you won't be needing it anyway. You're all seeds. You'll be fine, right, sir? Hey, hey. Don't leave me, sir! Well, that was fun. So we are on our own, everybody. That's it. That's all there is to it. We're, we are left high and dry. So, if you're interested in building up Renault, which I am to a degree, purchase these. You can get them right now. You might as well get them while you're here. We're going to rearrange, or sort, I'm sorry. So now we're going to check them all out. So we have Volume 1 through 4. So let's see. Volume 1, Angelo Strike. Volume 2, Angelo Recover. Volume 3, Invincible Moon. Makes all allies invincible. And Volume 4, Angelo Reverse. And as we were explained to earlier, by going to Renoa's status, you can now choose which one you want her to work on. We're going to do Angelo Strike first. Alright, we are set. 
So my first instinct is to go talking to people, but the game kind of judges you. So there's certain things you can do while you're in timber that the game isn't going to penalize you for, and there's certain things you shouldn't do. The key word is shouldn't. I'm not saying you can't, and for the most part, the game isn't going to judge you for looking around. But getting involved in like long-winded bullshit that's obviously holding you back for your mission that you should have known better to get involved in, that's the stuff the game's going to penalize you for. And the game is actually really funny about it, because every time it happens, like, Squall tells you that what you're doing is stupid. And that's what I love about this game to a degree is that Squall's monologue kind of tells you up front like, yo, this shit's dumb. Why are you doing this? Stop doing this. This is stupid. Uh, what else can you learn that would be useful? Uh, you can learn that because that's not that expensive. You're still learning that. Okay. Um, strength bonus. You're almost done learning that. And you're almost done learning that. So we can get to you learning some good stuff, some good shit. So we're gonna go in here. We're only really coming in here for two things. Well, really, only two things. First off, Blizzaga. Cause that's cool. Alright. So yeah, now you can find yourself a Blizzaga. That was not something I used to know that that was there originally. And also, if in case you're interested. You found an old issue of Timber Maniacs. You finished reading it. Surprisingly enough, there is one Timber Maniacs I missed originally. It's actually at the inn in Delhi, uh, Zell's Town. Well, the, first, the town you had to go to to take the train to start this mission. So there's nothing wrong with talking to people. As far as I know, talking to people won't hurt your rating. Delaying, it's it's when you get involved, like I said, it's when you get involved in really dumb shit that you really shouldn't have wasted your time on. Or like purposely like getting into long-winded conversations with people for no reason. Looks like the trains have stopped running. Usually the local trains would be running here. A lot of hustle and bustle. Ah, 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 I'm allergic to cats. My daughter loves them. What am I to do? Oh, I guess we can't talk to her, can we? So before we go any further, what we're really going to do is find out who has Diablos equipped at the moment. Because I don't remember who has it. You do, don't you? Now, what does Diablos give you? Just magic? Okay, that's fine. That is a sacrifice I am willing to make right now. Here you go, Renoa. You might as well get something out this nonsense. Can't have you be completely useless on my team. Boom. We'll worry about... Actually, you know what? We can actually give her something right now. I should have plenty of those. So we're going to go to Ice Water Refine. Yeah, I'm about to say I have plenty of these. She won't have anything for strength at the moment, but because she now has magic, we can junction it. We can junction it now. Boom, now she has a higher magic stat. So now she's not totally useless. Better keep your eyes peeled. If you let one resistance member in here, your dear kids are, <laughs> well, dead meat. <laughs> We have to get to the TV. We have to get to the TV station fast. I can't bear to watch them suffer like this. So I heard everyone here supports the resistance. You guys are such fools. Just imagine how much this place would thrive if you were loyal to us. This place is gonna be a backwater woods forever. And you? Are you happy with your life? Blindly following following orders every day, doing things you probably don't believe in. So what if we're underdeveloped? We're not looking to thrive. All we want is to be able to stand on our own feet, to be independent and live according to what we believe. You guys will probably never understand having thrown away your pride and dignity. We're not the fools, you are. You're, you're both dead. 
No! I mean, technically, I didn't. I didn't do anything. Really. This is, this is on you guys. But if you guys really want to die that badly, I'm not against killing people, obviously. I've, I'm a trained soldier. You know, that's what we do. We murder people. I end the lives of anybody who's dumb enough to pick a fight with me. Alright, these guys shouldn't live nearly that long. I mean, they're not normal soldiers, but they're not that powerful. One thing I miss is that this port does not allow rumble, so I have no feedback when it comes to Squall's hits. Which sucks! This could have been, this, this could, it's feasible they could add it, but it wouldn't be easy, and I don't think they're going to be able to. Thank you for your help, I got a little carried away. We appreciate your help, we can't let you through here, I'm sorry. Be careful, the Galbadian soldiers all over the place. Things will cool down once Delling finishes his business here. Oh, I got paid. And my rating didn't go down. And that's important. So certain things won't drop your rating. Like I said, it's doing needlessly pointless bullshit that will drop your rating. Or like taking needlessly long and verbose thing, doing needlessly long and verbose things. Uh, one of them involves the Timber Maniacs facility where you talk to, I guess, their head editor. And you can ask them a series of questions. If you bring up Laguna, Squall talks about, like, what dreams they've been having. And then the guy goes on what can only per be perceived as, like, an hours-long diatribe about what kind of dreams he has. At which point, your seed rank promptly drops by one. And you notice, I have seed rank 29. So I told you guys at the end of the last episode I was going to work on building up my seed rank via the questions. And I did, because if you go to test right now, you'll see I'm at uh, level 20, and I can't take seed written test past level 20. So therefore, every level, every time I get paid, I get paid 19,500 gil. Yeah, pretty hefty payment. I'm, uh, I'm making them pay me for this. This is not going to be a cheap job for them. But yeah, you can kind of get away with doing all kinds of shit. There isn't too much this game is going to really penalize you for. And, and the, at least the game is nice enough to know, like, not to punish the player for just fucking playing it. This house is too small for a family of five. Mom's working at the pub. Grandma's at the gift shop. They don't seem to mind. And Grandpa's so stubborn, he refuses to move to a bigger house. Young lad, do you like beverages? Yeah, sure, kind of. Ah, good to hear. Drink all you want from the faucet. Ah, you don't have to hold back. It's just water. Drink all I want. Oh, well, okay. Life is so strange. It's not like anyone teaches you, but you end up... Not like anyone, t not like anyone teaches you, but you end up falling in love? Oh, okay. Yeah, Squall. You know, you don't, you get someone to teach, so no one has to teach you, you could just fall in love. It just happened, my dude. There are four different trains running through this town. It gets kind of packed at times. Want me to tell you where the trains are? No thanks. Appreciate the offer, though. I don't really want to hurt my seed rank. I kind of like getting paid. I think those kids just pretend like there's a train coming, if I recall. It's like a little cutscene. It's kind of cool. Check it out if you want. Damn it. Oh, this poor bastard. He's all by his, he's all by his lonesome. He came all the way out here just to die. Which is a shame. Jesus. I can't I can't imagine what it must feel like. What it must feel like for like a random dude to just get caught by Zell's hands. Just you say the wrong shit to the guy, he goes off. Next thing you know, you've caught like a triple haymaker, and now you're on the floor with a broken jaw. You know, you guys are really making me wish I was just turning off encounters. But thankfully, none of you guys are actually a threat to me, so I guess that's kind of a bonus. So 
So yeah, like I said, like I like I said before, if you've actually put any effort into like powering up your characters, which at this point you should know how to, you actually shouldn't have much trouble with anything you're gonna run into. At least not here in Timber. Most typical soldiers aren't that powerful. And at this point, I can pretty much one-shot them with at least two of my characters. Nice. Status Mag Refine. This is something I've been waiting for. Because now I can learn... Um, there we go. Status Mag Refine. So we got... Silences, we got bios, we got sleeps. So we're gonna have all kinds of good shit. We get bio. Mmm. I'm tempted. I have 80 bios. So yeah, if you attach that to like your uh your uh a, a status attack, you'll do pretty good. You'll you'll get shit done. Oh damn it, I forgot to change up my skills. Shit. That was too easy, man. <laughs> For a country bumpkin, he sure had some good stuff. Yo, better ease off a little. These timber hicks hate us enough as it is. Huh? <gasps> Let's get them. And this is the part where I send both of these men into an early retirement. Courtesy of Balam Garden. Don't worry, fellas, it's free. I don't charge for my services. How are they surviving that hit, though? There we go. Well, to say, he took 160-something damage. It takes me, like, two hits normally to do that kind of damage. How the fuck is he just shrugging that shit off? Ah, I'm gaining experience. Fuck. Don't gain experience. Don't do it. It's not worth it. It's a trap. Um, GF. Diablos. Let's do time. Absolutely time. Absolutely. Time magic is best magic. Always have time magic. It is always worth it. Here. Three cure. Oh, there are no trains to the desert to that. Oh, okay. The train is a legit train out to the de- Why would you- Why does that even exist? Who's gonna come all the way back here to get to the desert? Like, I'm not looking at this from, like, a logistical perspective of the people. Looking at this from a gameplay perspective. Why the fuck would you be way out here trying to get back to the desert? Even that seems ridiculous to me, honestly. Alright, well. I might as well finish this last segment before I wrap this up. I've had enough of this city. I've come from Doyle to have a good time. And now, trains are no longer running can't even stay in a hotel because of some stupid official harassed by Galbadian soldiers had my precious card stolen. This hasn't been my day. Those jerks. They think they can use brute force to get anything they want. Hell, this town's a good example. Yeah. Everything's jacked up because the resistance tried to kidnap the president. Thanks to them, the train stopped, and there's Galbadian soldiers all over the place, all because of them. Don't they understand I'm the one suffering from their reckless actions? Stupid, boneheaded, good-for-nothing resistance, they can all just kiss my... Hey! You don't understand anything. The resistance is fighting for Timber's future. They're all doing the best they can as Galbadian soldiers. And their leader who are at fault. Yeah. Well, we gotta get this guy out of our way somehow. We need to get through. Jeez, and now I'm being dissed by some punk? Owner, give me another drink. Uh, here, how about your card? Is this your card? Huh? It is! Well, why, why do you have it? I found it outside. You serious? Oh, okay. Thanks, you know what? I'm feeling generous, so you can keep that card. And also, this one. And I'll move out the way now. Hey, owner. Can't stand up. Can you help me? Alright. That's been dealt with, at least. Uh, 
I want to talk to this guy. You understand now? You'll know how to tell them apart once you're old enough to drink. We are, we are, we the resistance. Oh, oh, these kids are adorable. I love these kids. Alright everybody, next time on Final Fantasy VIII Remastered, we will continue our adventure, and I'm going to go get Renoa some magic, and uh, we'll head to the TV station. Till then guys, stay tuned, and I will see you all next time.